Hey aunties, so I'm here with Paris Mia Moore, and Paris Mia Moore was reborn by Yolanda Boyd Glover, which is Yogi. And I want to get her dressed and changed. I, um, <laughs> ever since I like changed her this last time, it was just like, oh my God, I'm just <laughs> back in love with her even more so than before. Um, I never really quite fall out of love with Paris, which is why she's been here for about four years. But um, there is times where she just is mostly like my display baby. Um, she has always been a comfort baby. She is a baby that you can pick up and just like, it calms you. Speaking of which, <laughs> I remember the first time I told my guy, I said, he said, well, why did you get rid of that baby? And I said, I, I wasn't bonding with it. And he said, oh my gosh. He said, now you're going too far. He's like bonding with a doll. You can't bond with a doll. And I said, no, you don't get it. Blah, 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 blah. So I explained it to him. He said, okay. I don't think he really got it still, but you know, it's very hard um, for people who don't collect dolls or never hold them to know what we mean when we say bonding. People are like, you can't bond with something that's not alive. But, you know, we called it bonding. I think it's more of an attachment, more of, you know, finding comfort in it, just like someone have their favorite, you know, when we were kids, they called it security blankets and, you know, all that great stuff. So, I think it's all the same. Her hair is still a mess. I just haven't felt like tackling hair. Okay? <laughs> so, don't judge me. So, she's still been um, she's still been in hats. And I do that. I, I, I really do. I, I have a bad habit of just leaving my babies in hats when I don't feel like combing the hair and she just don't want to lift her head up for you guys. I tried. I'm going to get her more comfortable here before. Lexi was over here, so it was kind of set up for Lexi. Every baby like falls differently. Um, now, Paris has, uh, she does have three, four arms, and I have her on a full limb body, although her kit is really three fourths. But like I stated before, her limbs are long enough, her legs are long enough to actually go into a full, full body, um, full leg body, so. It took me like two years before I would, or longer, before I actually would even touch her or pull, as far as pulling her apart because I just loved the way Yogi had her weighted and I was just so attached to her. I could not take her apart. <laughs> so I get like that sometimes. Some babies I don't want to, you know, change them around. Like I don't want to disturb the way that they came because, you know, I like the way they feel. Um, but yeah. So. I thought she would look good in yellow. And this was one of the little outfits that I had got from the dollar store, I think. The Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. And I thought it was really cute. <laughs> and I picked it up. I'll pick up something from just about anywhere if I, if I find that I like it or it's worth the wait. I mean, not worth worth the wait. I'm reading her shirt. Worth worth it to me. Um, the quality isn't bad either. Um, anyway, um, I have like I love Jimboree, but. I've been in Jamboree and um, some of their stuff are, is not any different quality as Carter's. Um, they just have 
you know, maybe some pretty prints and stuff like that. Um, so I just, you know, I just buy whatever I want. It, it don't, whatever, you know, I get, I see and I really like, I just go for it because it's not going to matter. It's not like they're going to throw up on it or be rough in it. So I don't have to worry about it as long as it looks good to me. <laughs> That's how I do it. But yeah, um, I've been really enjoying dressing Paris again. I used to dress this baby like, oh my God, I used to dress her like twice a day, <laughs> every day for about six months. I didn't nonstop. I never, like Paris, those that have been following my channel since the beginning knows that Paris was my everything baby. I don't care how many babies came. Paris was it, and to me, she's still it. Um, I don't care how many babies come and how many babies go. I don't ever consider thinking of letting this one go. Not only that, my guy, this is the only baby that he asked about. <laughs> when I mentioned selling babies, he's like, he always makes sure that I haven't let her go. So he really likes her. She needs a different pacifier, but I don't know if she have any to match. Um, I don't make a lot of pacifiers though. See that magnet is opposite. So a lot of the pacifiers, now that one, it doesn't match, but it, it fits her. <laughs> A lot of um, the pacifiers are not magnetized to, to fit. My babies are not magnetized at all because I hate putting magnets on them, which is why I kind of was so excited about silicone babies in the beginning, which is so crazy because... I was willing to spend all that money on a silicone mostly because of the fact that I just wanted to be able to take a pacifier and pop it in the mouth and not have to um, worry about anything else. I don't think that the pacifier have to match, but I think it's really cute when people do match the pacifiers up. For right now, I'm just gonna leave it with that one. It does. It totally doesn't match, but that's okay. I really want to do something different with this hat. I'm gonna have to brush her hair down. But anyway, that is Paris Me and More, and um, I'm probably gonna get her on some socks eventually, and put her in her little seat, which is um close by my bed. I always um, keep her close by. Say look at me. <laughs> it's uh, starting to cool down. Down here so I've been trying to um, get the babies into warm stuff. So like I said I hope you guys enjoyed watching her get dressed. I'm going to get her, like I said, in her seat. And um, eventually I'll be able to do another tour of where the babies are. I'm um, just trying to wait for my other babies to come. And um, then I can take you guys on another tour. I'm going to do a tour of my room slash nursery. Um, but... See you guys later and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.